Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016-2017 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're going to be working on number 16 on the new General Curriculum Math Subtest. You'll notice in this problem it's dominated by this diagram here. We call these this diagram an array. And arrays are used in many different ways in math. And they can also, one of the ways is modeling how to do multiplication of fractions. So we're going to work through a problem that involves multiplication of fractions. The actual question says, which of the following problems can be solved using the operation model shown? Now, this is a little confusing because, it, first of all, a lot of teachers are looking at this and they don't know what this is, so they have no clue what it's modeling, let alone the operations involved. I'm telling you right now that this right here is called an array, and arrays are used to multiply a fraction times another fraction. All right, and, and that's the operation involved, is multiplication. So let's think about arrays for a moment and just do a, a quick tutorial on arrays and how they can model multiplying fractions out. For example, let's say I wanted to multiply out these two fractions. One half times one half. You might say the answer is the product of these two fractions is one fourth. And you'd be right. And we could model this multiplication of these two fractions out by using an array. We could have here uh, a half here. This represents a half. And another half of the array here. This represents a half. And the overlap area, or the product of a half times a half, we would say is a fourth. So when multiplying out one half by one half, we can represent it this way, or we can represent it in an array. Now let's look at this model here. Now we know this problem involves a fraction times a fraction. So let's look at this array here. What are the fractions being used in number 16? Well, maybe you've observed in the problem that these fractions appear 5 eighths and 2 thirds, 2 thirds, 5 eighths. So these are probably going to be, these are going to be key fractions in the problem. Well, where is 2 thirds and 5 eighths here? Well, if we take this shape right here and we, we divide it into rows, we'll have 1, 2, 3 rows here, 1, 2, 3. And these first two rows here would represent 2 thirds of the whole. So we could say right now that one of the fractions is 2 thirds. If we take the shape and divide it up into columns, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 columns, of which 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are shaded. We could say that the other portion is 5 eighths. If we want to find out what portion of the 2 thirds is the 5 eighths, we do this portion times this portion, or this fraction times this fraction, and we would get an answer. Now, how do you multiply fractions again? The tops times the tops, numerator times the numerator, so 2 times 5 is 10, denominator times the denominator, so 3 times 8 is 24, and we would find out that the portion that overlaps is 10 24ths. Now, let's take this answer and go back to the diagram here. Notice that our whole is made up of 24 squares, 3 by 8, is 24. And if you count up all these squares here in this shaded region here, you find out that out of the 24, 10 are shaded. So this array matches up with the product of these two fractions. I take a very close look at B for a moment, because B is the one that matches up. And I want you to be clear on how it matches up. I'll read it over, and then we'll do it together. It says here for B, the results of a survey in a third grade class showed that two-thirds of the students had at least one pet and that 5 eighths of the students who had pets had at least one dog. What fraction of the class had at least one dog? The class is the whole. Out of the whole, two-thirds have pets, the part that has pets. Now, out of that part, 5 eighths are the, the part that has dogs. So two-thirds have pets, and out of the two-thirds, Five-eighths have dogs. Part that of the class that has pets that are dogs is five-twenty-fourths. B is the answer. Now let's quickly evaluate A, C, and D. I want you on your own to read over A, C, and D. Pause the video. Unpause after you read. Let's start with D here. D involves 
ratios. And I think if you notice ratios, I just want you to make the connection that the array is not used um, in this way to describe how to answer a problem involving ratios. So if you could just remember arrays would not be used for ratios, you could eliminate D. What about C? Well, if you read over C, it involves adding fractions. Adding fractions and finding, adding what portion is here with this portion here that's left over to find out what remains. So this would be adding fractions. And we're looking in arrays model multiplying fractions. So we cross out C. We already know B is the answer because B is modeling how to multiply two fractions and arrays are used to model multiplying fractions. So let's go to A. What's wrong with A? Well, if you read it over, you'll see that it's involving probability. And probability does involve multiplying out possible fractions. Pro probability 1 times probability 2. The problem is with A, it's not as clear, it's, it's not as clear cut as the, the array that's presented. So for that reason, you could eliminate A. You really want to stick with B because B is the array that models the multiplication of these two fractions to find out the, the part of the class that has the dogs. All right. Okay, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope you enjoyed this video. The answer here is B. B is the one where the math matches up with the array and involves multiplication of two fractions. Have a great day, team. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, Go Academy is holding a whole new round of workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, Florida, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, and a couple other states. Check out our workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.